Today, we will discover the best islands to live in the Philippines and explore what island is best for you. We have a mixture of different islands today. Some are big and popular and others are more remote and less well known. But nonetheless, I've attached the link to the full article in the description for those who are looking for more information. The first option is El Nido. Located in the northern part of the mainland of Palawan is El Nido. In other words, it is not an island on its own but instead a part of the larger Palawan island. El Nido is approximately seven hours away from Puerto Princesa by bus. This is one of the best areas to live in the Philippines if you enjoy the area of Halong Bay in Vietnam. This is because both areas have many similarities. The archipelago islands are known for their mountains, limestones and jungles. El Nido became very well known due to its increasing numbers of European, American and Australian visitors. As a result, more amenities and nightlife have been established in the area. In addition, the local government have invested in preserving the environment. Next we have Bahol. This area is well known and many YouTubers have spoken about Bahol previously. So instead, we will summarize the main points. Bahol is the 10th largest island in the Philippines. If you plan to live on the island, there are many things to do, such as taking a ride on a scooter or going on a local nature hike. Bahol is known for its waterfalls, jungles and chocolate hills. City life can be found in the south part of the island. The next island is Siki Hor. This quaint island is located near the southern coast of Bahol and Cebu. Individuals who do not enjoy the big crowds will enjoy Siki Hor as many report that the island is very quiet right now. From Bahol it takes approximately one and a half hours to reach the island by ferry. Some of the highlights of the island include its beautiful corals, amazing waterfalls and immaculate beaches. This is one of the best areas to live in the Philippines if you wish to meet friendly locals. Cliff diving is one of the most legendary activities on the island. Moving on to Chagao, you will likely see a lot of palm trees on this laid back island. Aside from the beach and island hopping experience, Chagao is popular for surfing. There are many premium accommodations available, but for those who are looking to stay on a budget, you will be able to find a nice room for $15 or $20 a night and even in some cases lower if you can speak to the locals directly or if you can book more long term. Up next is Baracay. Baracay is considered one of the most beautiful islands in the Philippines. When living on this island you will see the lush rainforest and clear blue waters. The island was closed for a brief period and has been in the news quite a few times over the last several years. As somebody who lives on the island you you will see many bars and restaurants along the coastline. Nightlife is unforgettable and fantastic on the island, but prices can be slightly high. Alternatively, you may consider Malapasca. This island is great for scuba diving and snorkeling. Scuba divers often see manta rays, seahorses, blue ringed octopuses, fresher sharks, and there are even shipwrecks underneath. Malapasca Island is gradually becoming more and more developed. Therefore, you may experience local fiestas or events on the island during your stay. The next island is Bantayan. You may consider living on this island because of its uncrowded and enchanted white beaches. One of the benefits of the island is that there is a large selection of accommodation for both short and long term. If you plan to live in Cebu City and do not wish to live on an island, you may wish to visit Bantayan as a getaway or short vacation. Exploring the island on a scooter is ideal. So which island in the Philippines is best for you. Each island in the Philippines has its own unique charm and there are plenty of pros and cons geographically and financially. For example, Baracay is a beautiful and fantastic option as it's highly developed. However, due to the tourism from locals and international travelers, the total living expenses will likely be on the high end of the scale compared to other islands. Nevertheless, one of the great things about living on an island in the Philippines Philippines is that most islands are situated close to other areas and are highly accessible by local ferries. Some smaller islands in the Philippines are less populated and can provide a very cheap standard of living, but this again goes back to your own individual lifestyle. For example, western food prices can be much higher if you live on a small island. On the other hand, there will likely be more competition and price differences if you live on a much larger touristy island. 